Is this on? You sound great. It's on. It's on. We're both on. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to game number two of Have a Nice Day 2024. Uh, next up, we will see Connecticut Roller Derby Arl Stars in white and Denver Roller Derby standbys in blue. Announcing this game tonight, I'm Irma Gerd. And I'm Chippa Tooth. It's true, no one can hear us, so it's fine. We can say whatever we want. Welcome to everyone watching us on Twitch. Thank you for joining us from afar or near, contingent on where you are, and for those joining us in person, welcome as well. I gotta go. We will be getting started in about 15 seconds once the officials are confirmed and ready to go. Shout out to our officiating crew, who we will get their names in just a moment. These crews are rotating in and out throughout the weekend. It is a long, hot weekend in Minnesota, unusually warm for those familiar with Minnesota, which is usually quite cold. It couldn't be any other weekend. It had to be this one. Also want a big shout out to some of our sponsors. We've got 888 and 187 Killer Pads as some of our sponsors tonight. Thank you so much. Coming up first, we have suffocation risk for Connecticut All-Stars and taking lead for the Denver standbys is Moose, definitely number 35. Moose is out on a scoring pass, looking to get some points, getting through the Connecticut pack, calling it, and gathering one point. Joining us today from Denver, we have number two, Wes Landerson, number 117, Speedcat. 1848, Last Warfare. 2806, Bronny Darko. 35, Moose, definitely. 404, Smack Overflow. Number 412, Keeper of the Skate. Number 416, Bash Tag. Number 47, Nikita Chiquita. Number 562, Cat Possible. Number 6, Featherstone. Number 770, Gremlin. Number 777, Miserable. Number 800, Ghost. 840, K Pasa. And 867, Serial Killer. Got Black Cherry for Connecticut All-Stars facing Smack Overflow for the standbys on that jam. Both jammers currently still vying for lead, about 20 seconds into the jam. Full contention of blockers for both teams. We do have Black Cherry pushing towards the top and now having to go recycle all the way back. And a Connecticut blocker with a forearm. And that is Black Cherry from Connecticut All-Stars as your lead jammer. Coming around for some points. Smack still fighting and is now also out on their initial. Solid. And a nice spin move gets Black Cherry four points. Looks like we are going to see a track cut for Smack Overflow, which places uh, Black Cherry into a power jam. 30 seconds on the clock for Black Cherry and the Connecticut All-Stars to gather as many points as possible, as many passes as possible. Black Cherry already sitting on eight points for this jam. First points for Connecticut in the game. Nice bean dip, but stopped by the butt of Bash Tag from Denver. 12 points, 16 points so far for the Connecticut All-Stars as we head into the last five seconds of jam number two. And 
And that is the jam. Wait for the last points to trickle in. Looks like Denver managed to get three on that jam. And 19 points for Connecticut All-Stars, bringing our score 19 Connecticut, four for Denver. Gonna announce the Connecticut Roller Derby All-Stars. We have 1023 Scully, 110 Luciana Pulverati, 17 Gnarly Quinn, 23 Pepper Jack Cheese, 30 Puke Skywalker, number three Parker Poison, number 31 Hella Skelter, 24 Sabotage Saval, number four Black Cherry, number five Thorn, number five zero Callie Burr, 528 Ginger, 64 Suffocation Risk, 86 C Maya Rage, 92 Just Pickle, and 99 Puss and Glutes. We have a quick scoreless jam there to take up jam number three. Shout out to our bench coaches for both teams. We have California, Catastrophe B Cosmo and Jane for Denver, and Bex, Trampus, and Tuna for Connecticut. Rounding out all of our wonderful people out there today, we have our officials as well. We have Sadie Masochist, Riot Earp, Danger, Aces and Skates, Sawyer Antics, Messy Jiggler, Whiplash, Mother Flippin' Artist, Aaron Burr, Mortal Comcat, Quick Grayson, Carmen Dragon, Croc, Johnny Demonic, Panic at the Lolo, Gams, Jakob, Rivendall, and Chew Back Off of. And looks like on this jam, we do have a penalty on the Connecticut Jammer, creating a power jam for Denver. And a star pass to pivot 416 Bash Tag, now becoming the Jammer of record for this jam. Connecticut does have pivot and Jammer in the box. Bash Tag coming up for the first points of their jam. Connecticut Jammer is released from the box, so Denver will have a chance to show off those defensive moves. Bash Tag still fighting against that Connecticut blockers. It is tough, it is hot, the floor is sticky, so these athletes are doing amazing for what they're doing. Bash Tag still stuck at the back with that tripod. Thorn out after coming back from the penalty box, now trying to come up and score some points for their team. Nice spin move from Bash Tag gets them out on points. We've got another Connecticut blocker coming to the box. And four more for Connecticut and Thorn. Bash Tag still fighting at the back of that pack here, getting some offense from their friends before Thorn comes back around for more points. And great footwork through that pack. That is four more for Connecticut. Denver has their full complement of blockers on the track. Connecticut down to three. And will now be joined by their last fourth blocker. So both teams at full strength for the end of this jam with five seconds left in this hard fought jam. Long jam there, lots and lots of time spent on the track. We're gonna get a final point count, seven points in that jam for the Denver standbys, bringing them to 11. 12 for Connecticut to 31, 20 points in between the two teams. We're gonna have a fresh lineup here. It looks like we're gonna see Moose definitely back on the track for Denver. And I did not catch the number of the Connecticut Jammer, but we will find out. I'm trying who to squint. We're gonna see it on the screen. We'll cheat Looks like use that's our friends. 5 0, Callie Burr. There, we, there go. we go. Thank you. Both Jammers. Callie back. is up. And we are going to have ourselves a jammer race. Moose is out as lead with Callie coming around that turn. Both packs gaining momentum and preparing for impact. Waiting for the heads up from her bench. Moose is going to continue to score points for her team. You're not wrong, Irma. Full jammer race on the track. Both jammers doing a good job keeping speed with each other. And Moose through for four more points, but not far behind is Callie Burr with four points of their own. All blockers are now out of the penalty box.
Looks like that is eight points even for both teams. This jam is called. Looks like we're going to take an official timeout to give the officials a chance to um, congregate, figure some feelings and stuff out. Check in. Have Check a chat. in. Have some water, please. Re reflect. It's and real hot in here. Everyone take a drink of water. It is too toasty for Minnesota right now, so if, take if, a drink. If you are here in the audience, take a drink of water. If you are at home watching on Twitch, take a drink of water. Or if, whatever you want. Have, have a sip. Have a refreshment. Have, have a refreshing Ooh. drink of hydration, whatever that <laughs> means to you. to say thank you to our EMTs for keeping us safe during game. Skaters now coming back onto the track. Connecticut will start with one blocker in the box. And for Jammers, looks like, I believe Safication Risk is out there for Connecticut. For Denver, I can't see that far. out. Connecticut will have two blockers starting in the box for this next jam. Sorry, friends.
official timeout has come to an end. That is smack overflow for Denver Standby's jamming. And Howard Jam with lead jam to Safication Risk from Connecticut All-Stars. Safication having to fight against all four of Denver's blockers, but tiptoeing up that outside line for four points. And another amazing move up that outside for four more points for Safication in Connecticut. We now have an empty penalty box, so a little bit more to contend with for both jammers. And that is another four on the board for Connecticut. Denver's completed the first start pass to Brawny Darko, amazing name. Brawny Darko, now your jammer of record for Denver standbys. And a quick call off and suffocation risk. Starting this jam, number seven, we have Black Cherry for the Connecticut All-Stars. Pivoting, or jamming for Denver. Looks like we have number 117, Speedcat. Picking up lead at that first apex. We're gonna get a forearm penalty assessed to Black Cherry, which puts Speedcat into a power jam. Good opportunity for Denver to pick up a bunch of points in the next 30 seconds. Speedcat coming around, weaving through the pack. Tuck and roll on the outside turn, calling it off. Putting the Denver Standpies at 23 to 52 into a power start is Jam 8. That was some amazing footwork by Speedcat. Denver putting out Moose definitely to start off that power jam. Denver does have one blocker in the box, so a little bit less offensive help for Moose definitely. Recycling now a bit of the back of the pack. Got a Denver blocker coming to the box now. Moose still vying for a lead. We do have Black Cherry out of the penalty box and into lead jammer for Connecticut All-Stars. Moose definitely finally breaking free of the pack, hot on Black Cherry's heels. Black Cherry coming in for their first points of the jam. Connecticut's pivot will enter the penalty box. And an amazing little help from her friend, four points for Black Cherry, ending that jam. Wait to see the last of those official Looks like that was two points for Moose and Denver standbys and four points for Connecticut All-Stars. Jamming for Denver, we have a smack overflow and for Connecticut All-Stars, Ginger and Jim Number nine, no lead yet as we reach the first apex. Connecticut All-Stars jammer Ginger looking to push right up against this wall of Denver blockers, pivoted by 840, that's Kate Passa. Picking up lead, Connecticut has it, and we have some action here at the first apex. New jammer for Denver, number 840, that's Kate Passa. Quickly switching from defensive to offensive play. K. Passa makes it pass on that outside line on the second straightaway.
a scoreless jam for Denver, sitting at 29 points. Connecticut inching their way to 60 points as we hit the 17-minute mark in period one. We are back up for jam nine. Full complement of blockers for both teams, both jammers on the line. And a hard hit to Denver Jammer, and we have Thorn for Connecticut All-Stars out as lead jammer. With Speed Cat, though, not far behind, putting on that speed to catch up, maybe beat some points out. Apex jump to end that jam. Ouch, my ankles hurt for you, buddy. And that brought four whole points for Connecticut All-Stars. Big old goose egg for Denver. Caliber and Moose definitely on the jam line for Connecticut and Denver, respectively. Working on picking up lead, anyone's jam at the moment. And it looks like it's gonna go to Cali and the Connecticut All-Stars. Coming around for a scoring pass. Moose still working on her initial pass through a wall of Connecticut folks. Both teams showing real strong roller derby knowledge here. Good positional blocking. Good awareness of what's up. Four points on the board for Connecticut, taking them to 68 points thus far. Moose getting a tap out from number 110 from Connecticut. That is Luciana Pulverati. Excellent name. Small pile up on the straightaway there. We're gonna get a multiplayer penalty assessed to our pivot from Denver. Number 840, K-Pasa, we'll see you in a few. We have another penalty assessed as well to number 777, Miserable. They will return shortly as well. With Denver down a little bit, slight offensive advantage for Connecticut. Just 25 seconds left in Jam 11. Callie's still holding lead and control of the clock. Run back by Black Warfare. Quick sneak away there on the inside apex. Four more points on the board for the Connecticut All-Stars, bringing them to 76 points total, a 12-point jam. Denver is staying strong at 29 as we go into uh, jam 12. Math is hard, but I can read a scoreboard at least. I believe in you. Math is Oh. You are too close to me. We've learned I can't kneel next to you. <laughs> too so close. Sorry. No proposing today. I'm so sorry. You're too close. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I know. I'm being scolded by Brutal Grit right now. I know. Okay, friends. Jam 11. One blocker in the box for Denver Roller Derby. Look like we've got Smack Overflow for the standbys against Safication Risk for Connecticut. Safication Risk, before I can even say their name, is out for Lee Jammer. Smack Overflow working against the last two blockers for Connecticut. Tiptoeing up that outside line, beautiful footwork. Savification race now in, trying to score some points, getting some help from their friends, and calls off the jam. Woo. Didn't have time to say any of those words. That is a team timeout for the standbys. Take a second, have some water, friends from home, drink whatever you want. I can't tell you what to do. Current score is 80 for Connecticut All-Stars and 29 for Denver standbys. 12 minutes and 30 seconds left in this half. 
Are you making a paper airplane right now? Must be threatened by my co-announcer. Don't you throw that at me. Oh my goodness. I've been assaulted by a paper airplane. They're not going to let us announce again if we keep doing this. Jamming for the Connecticut All-Stars, we have Black Cherry back on the line and Gremlin for the Denver standbys. Just about 25 seconds into this jam, no lead has been awarded yet. Strong defensive play from both teams as we approach the pivot line. Haven't even moved that far, 30 seconds down. Looks like we could have lead here in just a moment. Pack is thinning out slightly a no-pack scenario, quickly resolved. And it's gonna go to Black Cherry after about 45 seconds of play. Kay Fossa now jamming for the Denver stand for, standbys. Very, very cool. <laughs> I cannot believe what I've just seen. That was very, very cool. Mind blown. Uh, Black Cherry with the apex jump. To see some friends headed to the box. We'll see you in a few. Four points on the board for Black Cherry, 88 to 29 as it stands. K Pasa out on the initial, which will bring us to two Apex Jam. Two, I can't even speak. I've been rendered speechless. Two Apex jumps in one jam. Sometimes talking's hard when it just looks that cool, but. And an attempted call up at the 11th hour with just less than 10 seconds to go. A track cut assessed to Black Cherry, which on principle means we will start in a power jam, or a power start, power jam, for Denver. So Connecticut, unfortunately, will be starting with their jammer in the box. A Denver putting out Speed Cat. A little closer. Wait. Just kidding. Official. Oh, an official review? review. Hold, please. Chippo, what, Chippo what's, what's an official review? <laughs> if a team thinks that the ref a second gander at something that just happened in the last jam, they ask for an official review and very nicely go out and ask the refs, hey friends, what do we think about this? That's right. Thank God I read the rule book before this game. It's a gentle but legal, I disagree. <laughs> I dissent, but love you lots. Thanks for being here. Thanks to our track maintenance friends for putting the tape back together. Minnesota, I don't know if y'all know, is a little human and sticky, so the tape is wanting to free itself from the concrete, but our friends are not gonna let that happen. Real Brit strutting her stuff, putting that tape back down. Look at that footwork. Lay in the tape. You must play roller derby. Okay. 
If you're bummed that we're almost done with our games for the day, fear not, friends. Once I learn how to read, I can tell you how many games are tomorrow. Six games tomorrow. Tune in for more Derby fun. We've got a mixer. We've got a juniors game. And we are back on the track. Black Cherry for Connecticut All Star still in the box. Speed Cat for Denver Standby is out for a very quick lead. Looks like Denver's pivot is headed to the penalty box. Speed Cat coming up for some points. Speedcat out for those four points. Black Cherry now released from the penalty box, chasing down Speedcat. Denver still has their pivot in that penalty box. Black Cherry quickly out with Speedcat scoring four more points for their team. A little bean dipper on the outside. We are back to full contention of blockers for both teams as Black Cherry comes up for points for Connecticut. Speedcat coming around for points of their own. Four for Black Cherry in Connecticut. And a call off from Speedcat for Denver. We'll wait for the officials to get those last couple points. Do you want to tell us about that official review? I do. So regarding the official review, which occurred in between the previous jam, there was a request to review what potentially was a back block um, to an illegal target zone, but it turns out there was a block to a legal target zone, which means the official review was not retained, so. That sounds right. It was a good, it was a good official review. It was a good thing to ask. Good questions. Oh, sorry, okay. Uh, we are playing roller derby, and uh, Ginger is lead jammer for Connecticut All-Stars. Smack Overflow jamming for the Denver standbys. Just narrowly avoiding an out-of-play block there. Ginger is let go for four points. We are past the century mark for Connecticut All-Stars. Nice positional blocking there from the Denver standbys. Enough to put Ginger on the ground for just a minute. She picks it up, keeps going. Both teams at full strength here. Looking to earn points, complete initial passes. And with that, we will end the jam at 111 for the Connecticut All-Stars, 42 for the Denver standbys, and we will be short a few blockers for each team, one for each. So smaller starts, but that is okay. Up on the jammer line, looks like we've got Bash Tag for Denver, trading her pivot cap for a jammer cap. But it looks like it is going to be number five for the Connecticut Roller Derby, which is Thorne with Lee Jammer. And Bash, unfortunately, heading to the box on what looks like a forearm penalty. Thorne easily through for four points for Connecticut. Currently, Connecticut and Denver both have a blocker in the box, but all standing. Thorne coming back in for more points. Nice spin move out of there. Both teams now at their full contingency for blockers on the track. A little jostling around, see who's, where their jammer's gonna go. Beautiful offense provided by Connecticut. Thorne through for four more points. Bash tag approaching the pack. She has taken off her cap, might be looking to her pivot for a little bit of help, but instead just gonna blow everyone up saying, no thanks, I don't need it, I'm all good. Thorne taken out at that apex drag back. Oh, 
Unfortunately, Bash Tag back to the box with another forearm. Thorne's going to keep going, collecting some more points. Blocker's fighting hard, even though Jammer's not quite in the mix yet. They are fighting hard for a spot for their Jammer. Hit to the outside. Beautiful by Thorne. Not even cut. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Special shout out to um, our sponsor for this weekend, Triple Eight. XL helmets don't belong on size small heads. The certified sweat saver, better fit, safer fit. And also to 187 killer pads, often imitated, never duplicated. Stick with the best. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Caliber and Bash Tag. Callie and Bash jamming for Connecticut and Denver, respectively. Um, looks like we are going to see a track cut assessed to uh, Bash Tag. Sue. A couple folks headed to the box. We're going to have a jammer swap for those here, which means that Bash Tag is now free to go. And the time that Bash Tag sat, or the time that Cal, yeah, Bash Tag sat, is the amount of time that Callie will sit. Because for order, in order for roller derby to happen, there must always be a jammer on the track. Otherwise, I was just standing around. It's it's chaos. It's a it's a testament to the non-skating officials who are truly doing higher power work. I could never. It's a lot of math. No thanks. So. So because Bash Tag started in the box, Bash Tag was eligible to pick up lead, and that is exactly what has happened. I am just looking at what the official's hand signal said and what the scoreboard says. I am not paid to be here. I'm here because I love what I do. You're here because you love it. All right. We are free and clear. Non-skating officials in the box can take a deep breath. You are good. That was crazy. I do not know what just happened. Uh, 46 for the standby so far. 131 for Connecticut All-Stars as we hit the bottom three minutes of period one. friends two minutes 26 left in seconds seconds gee whiz left in the half it's my first day talking we have full complement of blockers and jammers on the track oh just kidding surprise not for you just wait a second <laughs> just wait it's okay we can figure this out we can figure this out it's we know okay. what we're doing we've played the sport for some years one year, two years. Looks like it is a team timeout for the standbys. Take a second, regather, rehydrate, because again, it's hot outside and inside. Again, nice thing about timeouts, it gives everyone a chance to chat, rehydrate, regroup. Retape. Just saying stuff. Who knows? You can't hear my stream of consciousness, it's just screaming with this like is, circus music. This is not a James Joyce novel. <laughs> this is a roller derby tournament, no streams of consciousness. Help, help, help. And we're back, folks. Savification risk for Connecticut All-Stars facing off against Moose definitely for the Denver standbys, both fighting for that lead jammer spot. Savification risk recycled all the way back to that pack. Looks like full stream of blockers and Savification risk out as lead jammer. Quick star pass from Moose definitely in Denver. Making Brawny Darko your jammer of record for this jam. Savification risk coming in for points on that outside and calling it off. Nice. 
sneaky. We love the outside line. I don't care what anybody says. We love an outside line. Smack overflow jamming for the Denver standbys. Currently in a power jam as Black Cherry heads to the box for Connecticut All-Stars. We are now in the bottom minute of period one. We're gonna get a high block for Smack Overflow, which means we will once again have a jammer swap. The time that Black Cherry has sat for Connecticut is the time that Smack Overflow will sit for Denver. Gameplay will resume. Send it. All right, so Black Cherry has return to gameplay. But if I remember right, not eligible for lead because she entered the box during the jam. So yes, if you enter the box during the jam, you are no longer In which case, this could be the last jam of the half, unless weird things happen, which I will not jinx. I will not be the person to do that. All right. Well, it looks like we have had a star pass for Denver standbys. Last Warfare is now wearing the star. Currently sitting at 135 to 52, four bones on the board for Denver. Thirty-two seconds left at jam 19. We're gonna see a full run out of this two minute jam. Four points on the board for Rage. Looks like we had a star pass for Connecticut as well. Nobody has ending this jam is who started it. Absolute chaos on the track. <laughs> no, it's very organized actually. And we are at intermission with the swooping whistle, which means I'm going to go hydrate. I hope you do too, at home and here. I'm gonna finish chugging my Red Bull and we're off to the second half. <laughs> okay, 143 see. for Connecticut All-Stars, 55 for Denver standbys. All right, 10 minutes. Just kidding, thank you Spike, who you cannot see on Thanks, the live Spike. stream. <laughs>
River of Connecticut. Do that math. We can do that math. <laughs> Empty penalty box. We love to see it. 100 points currently separate these two lovely teams as they're starting off on our jam line. I'm too short to see who the jammers are, sorry. We've got Thorn for our Connecticut All-Stars versus Bash Tag for Denver Standbys. Thorn with a sneaky whip. But unfortunately, for their efforts, heading to the penalty box. Leaving Bash Tag on a power jam, lead yet to be assigned. Unfortunately, hit to the outside, has to recycle back behind all of their friends. Doing a little skip back. Denver providing some pretty good offense for their jammer, trying to help her get through. And that is a Connecticut blocker heading to the penalty box. And that is Bash Tag free on her initial lead jammer in this power jam. Although we do have Connecticut jammer back. Bash coming around for her four points, has to recycle back. Callie Burr now the jammer, apologies, for Connecticut, fighting through that initial. Bash doing a nice side surf on the outside, looking for some points. Pepper Jack Cheese, now the jammer of record for Connecticut. Names are tough, sorry friends. And a call off for Bash Tag and Denver. Let's see how those points shake out at the end. Looks like zero for Connecticut and all four for Denver. Bringing that score up to 59 for the Denver standbys, 155 for Connecticut All-Stars. Safification risk for Connecticut All-Stars out there against Speed Cat for Denver. Both fighting again for, ooh, big fall, big ouch. And that is Speed Cat for Denver out on lead. Got a Denver blocker coming to the box. Safification risk, I know I'm saying that name wrong, deepest apologies. Now out of that pack, coming around for some points. Speed Cat being currently dragged back. And nice little toe step work on that outside. Safification risk is out for four. Still have that one Denver blocker in the box. Now standing in the box. Both chambers vying for points. Spin after spin. Unfortunately, risk being dragged all the way to the back of that pack. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big oops. And unfortunately, we have a Denver blocker as well as a Connecticut blocker and Connecticut jammer making their way to the penalty box. Oh, it's easy math again. Connecticut All-Stars 163, Denver standby 63, 100 points difference. I went to college, bam. I am proud of you for being able to do math. That Thank is you. not one of my, that's not one of my strong suits. It's not mine either. <laughs> I took away a one. We're going to take an official timeout, which means I get to have the pleasure of talking about some of our sponsors again. Um, let me pull up my sheet here real fast like. Um, triple eight. Oh, no, I'll do 180s. Yeah. No, I'll do triple eight. Okay. Yes. Revolutionizing roller derby safety with cutting edge technology and unrivaled designs. Stay protected with triple eight and 187 killer pads. Worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. Do you know why you skate, Chippa? Why I skate? You, yeah, why, why do you skate? So I don't cry as much at night. <laughs> <laughs> that and I love my friends and being in shape and skating and it's, no, it's to, so I don't cry at night. There you go. <laughs> I, so a fun fact about me, I actually do own skates. That's like, I guess some people don't know that. I do own skates, but I just don't use them enough. But That's okay. there was a time where I was an on skates official for like five years, and then I just don't do well, it anymore. Well, have you jammed some jams? What? Or um, uh, jam? 
or mug Absolutely too. not. That, the crowd's cheering for it. That would be so it. cursed. You would not want to see that. <laughs> Camming is so fun. No. <laughs> you just panic for up to two minutes. You don't have a plan. You forget to breathe. And you pee yourself a little. What's not to love? They're not going to let me announce anymore. Um, suffocation risk for Connecticut All-Stars and smack overflow for the standbys. We're going to see some shifting around in the box. Uh, smack overflow picking up lead for the Denver standbys in Jam 5. We are about 23 and a half minutes left in the second period. Oops. Looks like everybody's going to be uh, okay. Small hand thing. Nice little apex hop there from smack overflow. Inside line, a couple more points. Now sitting at 163 to 67. A couple of penalties assessed here. We're gonna have a forearm penalty assessed to number 23 for Connecticut, for Connecticut. A 70 points for the standbys. Once a very nice 169 points for Connecticut. Nice. <laughs> Coming back. We are on jam six with Black Cherry for Connecticut All-Stars in lead. Moose definitely for Denver, not far behind. Oh, unfortunately, a track cut for Moose definitely for Denver. It's all right. Heading over to the penalty box. We do have two Connecticut blockers also joining her in the penalty box. Black Cherry on that first scoring pass. A lot of arms in the air, like I just don't care. Woo! And just hit after hit, but staying in bounds, getting those points. We are down to one Connecticut blocker in the box, and Moose definitely also in the box, chatting away. Beautiful edge work on that outside line for Black Cherry. I'd fall on my face if I tried that. Chef's kiss. All right, Moose definitely is back in on the action, re-entering. So Moose definitely is still on her initial pass, which means she won't be scoring any points for this, but makes easy work of that inside line, grabbing a friend's jersey for support, and is now ready to score some points. Black Cherry scoring more points of their own and calls it off before Moose can make any work on that scoreboard. Wait for the last couple points from those officials, and it looks like that is going to even out to be a 16-point jam for Connecticut All-Stars. Holy smokes, as they say in Minnesota. Connecticut All-Stars have placed Ginger on the line and Denver Sandbys have placed Gremlin on the line for period two, jam seven. We are going to see some action right away as Ginger picks up lead for the Connecticut All-Stars. Gremlin headed to the box, which puts Ginger into a power jam. Caught up there with two Denver blockers. It looks like that's our pivot. Number 1848, Last Warfare. Sneaks by, picks up another four points. Good communication on the track for those who are not here in person to hear it. Everybody is talking, figuring things out. Small pile up there by another turn. Ginger on her toe stops, looking to get by, nudged back.
Looks like we're going to have a forearm penalty assessed to a Denver skater, who we will see back in 30 seconds. Number 777, Miserable. We'll see them back soon. Looks like we will be back into a power jam for the start of the next jam. That was busy. Connecticut with the power start. That was a very busy jam. We are seeing a lot of busy jams. I think that's a good way to explain it. Yeah. As we get into the second half and the scores, they can be close, they can be far apart, but in particular, there's a lot of, I don't want to say chaos, but there's a lot of things happening. Structured chaos. We've Structured now... chaos. That's a good way of explaining it. Yeah. yeah. But there's a lot of talking, too. There's yes. a lot of communication, which means there's usually some semblance of a plan. But Makes a big difference. Tell me what's happening. 17 whistles going at once, which means that Thorne is your lead jammer from Connecticut All-Stars. Unfortunately, that does mean two of their friends, Connecticut blockers, are going to the box, where currently Denver jammer and blocker are hanging out. Still a nice spin move from Thorne on that inside line, scoring some points for their team. Denver now has three blockers coming back onto the track, Connecticut with two. Doesn't really seem to matter for Thorne, though. They don't need a lot of help. They're blasting all the way through. For four more points, Denver Jammer Gremlin is now back on the track, cap in hand, looking to hand it out off to their friend with the pivot. That is pivot 2806, Barani Darko. Unfortunately, Gremlin making their way back to the penalty box. Along with their pivot, full penalty box, unfortunately, on the side of Denver. Thorns still making moves. They're up to 12 points now in this jam. One Denver blocker out there, now joined by their friend Cat Possible. It's nice to have friends. Thorne, unfortunately, they'll make an easy work on that outside line for another four points against Denver. Thorne coming around for another scoring pass. Gremlin, once again back on that track. Cap still in hand. Waiting for their pivot friend who's not close, far behind them, coming out of the box themselves. Currently on a 20-point scoring jam for Thorne from Connecticut All-Stars. Oop, almost a beautiful apex jump. Got to go back, and Thorne is slow to get up, but is now back on their feet. But unfortunately, it means they are headed to the penalty box, and what looks like a cut track penalty for the Connecticut Jammer. Y'all making me work for it, that jam. That was a lot going on. So ends that jam with two Connecticut blockers and a jammer in the box, one Denver blocker standing in the box. Looks like we're gonna have a team timeout for Denver, which gives that team one minute to talk about stuff. I think that's only the second team timeout of the whole game. I think. Connecticut is still sitting at three team timeouts and their official review for this half. Yeah. So we're still good. We're still on rolling. Meetings. Gives rest time to kind of recover. That was a busy jam, both point wise, penalty wise. Current score, 217 217 for the Connecticut All-Stars to the Denver standby is 70 with a 20-point jam on that last jam by Thorne. 16 minutes, 20 seconds left in the second half game. Last game of the night, unfortunately, for the first night of hand here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Don't worry, there's plenty of games tomorrow and a couple even on Sunday. Fill your derby fix. If I knew how to count, three games on Sunday, six on Saturday. Looks like that's the end of that team timeout.
But now we have an official timeout. That has now changed into an official review. This is so nice. I get to say all the words at once. Currently, official review looks like on the part of Connecticut All-Stars. Again, official review for our friends who are just tuning in for Roller Derby. If you gently disagree with the call that the refs made, you can go up and talk to the refs. Looks like I believe this official review is based on the attempted call-off that Connecticut jammer number five attempted to make at that last jam. We will find out what happened. I was distracted by a very cute picture of my dog. <laughs> Honestly, fair. Your dogs are super cute. I was like, oh, hey, bud. And oh, hey, buddy. Hey, boss. I love hey. Meatball. Big I, fan of Meatball. I love all of my dogs. You have to love them all equally, but like I can have favorites. Yeah. But we will, we will find out if specifically what happened. Irma was right. That was six penalties in that last jam. We just got the official count, and Irma guessed it. You counted. I never said guessed. You counted the entire thing. Six penalties for that last jam. It was vibing at six penalties. It was a higher energy of six penalties. No. <laughs> just kidding. It was nine it was penalties nine. now from our wonderful NSOs. Wow. Thank you so much for keeping us on track. Nine penalties in that last jam. What a, a nice segue into saying thank you, officials. You like Yikes. that? That was nice, right? <laughs> That's so much mental work and keeping the game safe and fair, even if it doesn't always feel that way. That is why our officials are here. <laughs> Thanks, officials. <laughs> we have officials not only from... Oh. I'm going to take a wild guess from the screaming on the bench that Connecticut did win that official review. And it looks as though oh, we're going to get an actual answer so I can stop making stuff up. We are still waiting on that official summary from that review, but Connecticut's jammer has been released from the box, which means they get to start with a jammer on the line for this next jam. Both teams still have two blockers apiece in that penalty box. So a bit of a smaller pack on that track. Speedcat said, see ya. Unfortunately, Cali Burr also hot on their heels. Caliber has now overtaken Speedcat, both at four points apiece. Penalty box is now empty for both teams. Both are attempting to score their next round of four points against the full contingency of blockers. Speedcat out for four more. Caliber trapped in the back by Denver's tripod and is out for four more points. Amazing work from both teams' defense. It is tough to be a blocker. I don't know how they do it. Both teams looking strong, tripods together. 
Speedcat is out, currently at 12 points. Calibur at eight for the jam. Taking some hard hits on that outside, moving to the middle. Speedcat approaching the pack, hitting to the outside, looking for offense from their pivot friend. Couple of whistles, we'll see what shakes out. Looks like that is going to be a back block on Denver Speedcat, bringing them to the penalty box. Power jam for Calibur and the Connecticut All-Stars. As they make their way around for more points, that should be 12 on the board for Cali Burr and Connecticut All-Stars. Nothing says fun like a two-minute jam. Cali Burr working hard on that outside, coming face-to-face -face with Denver blockers, having to go all the way back and recycle. For friends that don't know, if a jammer is hit out of bounds, they have to re-enter the pack behind the person that hit them out. A lot of times it's hard to tell, so you re-enter behind everyone making your job twice as hard. And that is the end of that jam. Let's see as the last points come in from officials. Looks like that is going to be 12 for the standbys, bringing their score up to 82. 16 points for Connecticut All-Stars, bringing their score up to 233. So about that official review. Hit me with it. All right. So Connecticut said that when their jammer was so when their jammer was trying to call off the jam, that it was, hey, she did in fact call that off sure did. in a timely manner, but was assessed a cut call penalty Different. that should not have happened. So the officials reviewed that and they said, you know what? That is right. That penalty should not have happened. So they did in fact rescind that cut call and they did retain their official review. Which is great. So when you do officially review something, that a call that the refs made, if you quote unquote win that review, you don't lose that review, you can then review something else in the game. So great on Connecticut for challenging that call. Also the refs have the hardest job in the building though, so mm -hmm. I could not imagine. For those of you watching on the live stream or who are here and are like, what is happening? There is a concern about moisture on the floor. I believe that. It is extremely humid in this building. It is, um, to put it very, it's, it's um, gross. It's nasty. It's, it's, nasty. it's nasty time right you now. You can insert your own allegories and metaphors here as you see fit. It is disgusting. Um, so we are addressing the concerns for track safety and maintenance so our skaters do not hurt themselves, nor do the officials or, or the precious, delicate announcers <laughs> who could We're fall over. We're very delicate. Ooh. Standing so. still. I'm or volunteers. Delicate. Thank you to our volunteers um, and to our EMTs who are keeping everyone safe. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to the medics keeping us all safe. We got our maintenance crew there. Yep. Minnesota in the summer, unfortunately, really humid. Welcome to Minnesota, Denver friends. I know you're not used to the humidity. It's hot as heck out there, but we're not on fire, so you know. I will tomato. say, and like, okay, I gotta do, I gotta do math really quick. Here we go. So in like six-ish months, it's gonna be really cold, and yeah. people are gonna be like, "Boo! I wish it was really warm, oh, and I, I miss the humidity. humidity. I wish I could go to the beach. I wish I could go to the lake." And then, in that time, people are gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, oh, I wish it was cold." Like right now, I wish it was cold. We but do it also, to ourselves. <laughs> we do it to ourselves. We can't have both. I mean, you can have like that nice like three day window in October where it's beautiful yeah. and then it just gets really cold and sad. And all the leaves fall off. Oh yeah. And you're sad because there's no snow, but then the snow comes and you are sad. Yeah. It's like a vicious circle that we can't escape. There's also like three days in April where it's really nice or May. Mm. That's really nice but too. But you can't go anywhere because all the roads are under construction. Yes. Yes. Move to Minnesota, you guys. I mean, five out of five stars. They're moist, sweaty stars, but it's five out of five stars. Oh, so you can hear us. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we were told no one in the building could hear us, so we've been saying the most out-of-pocket things. Apologies to the Twitch friends. Look at that maintenance crew, though. Look at that footwork with those towels, lateral movements. You guys must play roller derby.
Moisture has been addressed. We are back to Derby. We are sitting at one Connecticut block in the penalty box. Bash tag jamming for Denver. Suffocation risk jamming for All Stars, but it is Bash tag as lead jammer for Denver. Coming up on her first scoring pass. Risk, unfortunately, from Connecticut heading to the penalty box, along with a Denver blocker. Power jam for Bash tag and Denver. Let's see her put some points on the board. Nice toe step work on that outside, now pushing against the Connecticut contingency. A little bit of help from their friends. Bash tag is through. She's got four more points on the score. Showing up that little side surf move. And that brings Risk back onto the track for Connecticut and is free on that initial coming around, looking for some points. Bash being told to call it by her bench before Risk can come up and threaten that score. Looks like we, that is zero on the score for Connecticut and 12 for Denver standby. Black Cherry jamming for the Connecticut All-Stars up against Smack Overflow for the Denver Standbys. We are in Jam 11, period two, just about 12 minutes left on the gameplay clock. Uh, Black Cherry picking up lead for the Connecticut All-Stars. Very successful day so far for Black Cherry. Um, Smack Overflow headed to the box. We are gonna be in a power jam for the Connecticut All-Stars for the next, at, at most, about 25 seconds. Four points on the board for Connecticut, 237 in total. Nice blocking Gorgeous. pass there from the pivot. Black Cherry sneaks by, 241. I like to pretend that I can do that. Gonna get a forearm penalty assessed here to Connecticut blocker number 31. Ooh, I am not sure who that is. 31 being Hella Skelter. Smack Overflow is out with the star back on. All systems go. Nice Apex hop there. Good footwork. Four points on the board as Black Cherry has reported to the box. Skelter headed back to the track for Connecticut All-Stars. About 20-ish seconds left in jam number 11. Still enough time for teams to pick up points. We'll see Parker Poison headed the box for Connecticut for 30 seconds, which puts Connecticut in a short start for the next jam. Will also be down a pivot. And that brings us to 249 to 102. The standbys cracking the century mark. 16 points in that jam for the Connecticut All Stars, eight for Denver standbys. We are on to jam 11. Looking at two Connecticut blockers in that penalty box. Full contingency of blockers for Denver. Ginger jamming for Connecticut All-Stars. We got Speedcat on the line for Denver standbys. And that is Ginger for lead for Connecticut. A couple whistles going to see what shakes out from there. We've got a Denver blocker coming to the penalty box. Speedcat is also out on their initial. And a quick, ooh, quick call off for Connecticut All-Stars. Shakes out to four points for Connecticut, two for the standbys. Nine minutes, six seconds left in the game. 
We are now in the bottom 10 minutes of this of the whole game. Of the whole game. The whole game. Of the whole first day. I believe we only have the two. Whole day's the whole done. day is almost done. That's wild. We only have two games today, though. Tomorrow is the biggest day of Have a Nice Day. And then Sunday, we have three games. So for those of you watching online who can't join us in person for whatever reason, we're sorry to not have you here, but I guess enjoy your air conditioning if you have it. But at the same time, we'd What's love to have like? you here. What's that like? <laughs> um, but come join. If you're in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, come join us tomorrow and Sunday. Lots of good roller derby action. Lots of teams from all across the United States. We have um, Minnesota Roller Derby, North Star Roller Derby, Connecticut, two teams from Denver. Uh, Grand Raggedy Roller Derby will be here tomorrow. And we also have a mixer with all sorts friends of fun over. friends. What? Friends from all over. Yeah, friends from all over. And it looks like you, okay, I'll talk. Okay, so uh, Thorin has picked up lead for Connecticut. We are in a power jam as Last Warfare is headed to the box. And it's gonna be a jammer swap. So we're gonna have a two minute jam. Um, here comes one, there goes another. Everybody is getting ready for the swapperoo, swapperoni and cheese. Good communication from all quarters of the track as the box is cleared, both teams at full strength. Just about 30 seconds left in this jam. Both teams are looking to get points. We have a star pass, which has been completed, I believe. And lots and lots of slow blocking here, getting people out of the way from point A to point B. We have moved on from an official timeout to a team timeout for the Denver standbys, giving our lovely track maintenance people time to do what they do best. Mm -hmm. Maintain the track. I don't know. Had a thought, couldn't finish it. While our track is being maintained, special shout out once again to uh, Triple Eight Helmets, the certified sweat saver from Triple Eight, top of the line safety standards and unmatched fit options, and 187 killer pads, uh, industrial strength materials, unmatched ergonomic design, and unparalleled excellence.
We have an empty penalty box, full track, full hearts, with Moose definitely for Denver on the line. Skating alongside lead jammer. Thanks, scoreboard. Connecticut is out first for lead. Coming up on her on that initial scoring pass, we have one blocker apiece in that penalty box. And a quick call up before Moose can score any points, bringing our final score up to 265 for Connecticut, 108 for Denver standbys. Six minutes, eight seconds left in this jam. Looks like Denver now has two blocker friends in the box. Looks like we've got Risk Speed Cat on the jammer line for Connecticut and Denver, respectively. Ooh, Risk attempting to go up the outside line, but Bash Tag having none of that. Speed Cat not lead. Risk lead jammer calls it off immediately before Speed Cat can come up and score any of those points. Denver still has two blockers in the box, accompanied by one Connecticut blocker. Speedcat on the line for the Denver standbys, and our Connecticut jammer, Black Cherry, picks up lead right after that first straightaway on Apex One. Looking to get back to full speed. There goes Speedcat out on the initial. Very short jam there. I didn't get perfect eyes on the clock, but I'm gonna guess that was probably less than 40 seconds, so it's not, not very that. long. But that's okay. We are at the bottom four minutes and 30 seconds of this whole game. 269 to 108 in favor of Connecticut All-Stars. Going into jam 16. Looking to get points on the board or keep the point differential far apart. Contingent on which team you are. But let's see what happens next. Empty penalty box. Big hit right off the start to a Connecticut blocker. But that does allow Ginger from Connecticut All-Stars to grab lead jammer. Smack overflow, struggling in the back, taking off that star. As Ginger comes up for first points of this jam, hitting that backpack hard. Smack taken to the inside, gonna have to recycle back behind some friends. And that is Ginger out for four points. Denver and Connecticut blending together in a mashed up mega pack. Hearing some whistles go. Looks like that's gonna be bash tag, the pivot from Denver, heading to the penalty box. As Smack Overflow has completed their initial pass and the jam is called. Wait to get the final points from the officials. It's gonna be zero for Denver and eight for Connecticut All-Stars. And we are going to get an official review from Denver. We will come back with the results of that, whether it be content or using that as an official timeout. I'm guessing it's gonna be content, so we will see. Um, three minutes and seven seconds left to go in the entirety of the game, sitting at, uh, you, you probably just said the score, didn't you? It's 277 to 108. It's fun to remind people. Yeah. I've forgotten. Some other people may have forgotten. Yeah. Um, gee, Jam it out. what's left to talk about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hydrate again. If you haven't been hydrating, you're going to feel real silly in a little bit. Drink some water. If you're watching from Twitch, oh, yeah. drink whatever you want. Now is a good time to hydrate. Um, this weekend, informally sponsored by water. Please drink some. <laughs> Bottled is fine if you do not have access to tap. <laughs> Just drink water. It's now allegedly cooled down to 81 degrees. This is good. We're reading the weather as we're announcing. This is good. And this is a reminder to you out there who thinks that iced coffee is water. It is wrong. not. <laughs> wrong. You can I'm no have, doctor, but I think that that's wrong. You can have multiple uh, emotional support beverages, but please make one of them water. Yeah. Humidity right now is 63%. 
sorry a lot to our Colorado friends where your humidity is negative five. So welcome to swimming. Looks like our official is informing the teams of their decision. We'll hopefully hear soon what the review is about, how it ended. All right, I've got the deets from that official review. Denver was asking for a back block on White Jammer. Officials decided, nah, didn't happen. So Denver, unfortunately, is losing their official review. And that is Thorne out for lead for Connecticut, followed very closely by Moose, definitely from Denver. Moose, a bit of a speed demon herself, and a quick call from Thorne. Save some of those points. but two points for Denver on that jam. Zero for Connecticut. Heading into jam 19 of the second period, Callie jamming for Connecticut and Gremlin for Denver standbys. 277 to 110. Both teams looking really strong on defense here, but Cali sneaks by to pick up lead for Connecticut. Some nice blocking there from Connecticut's team. That's number 110 in particular, Luciana Pulverati. Excellent name, by the way. Looks like we're gonna see it called off, which pushes us into one more jam, maybe two with some shenanigans, but we're getting down to the very, very end of this game. 281 to 110. We'll see, see who lines up jams. for each team. And some very quick jams in this game, so we might see two more. But for right now, jam 19 of our game. We've got Risk for Connecticut All-Stars. And that is smack overflow for Denver, both vying for that lead position. Both pushing towards that top, but it is Risk from Connecticut with lead jammer, smack overflow now working through that full contingent, but now Connecticut pivot is headed to the box. Nice star pass from smack overflow over to Brawny Darko, now the lead jammer for Denver. Risk coming through with four points for Connecticut. Big hits on the track. So once a skater's on the floor, you cannot hit them until they are legally back upright and standing, because it'd be rude to do otherwise. Risk for eight points on this jam. Ronnie Darko now out on their initial as the star pass. So looking to score some points on this next run. Risk being told to keep it going. Get that score up. Big hit to the outside for Bronny Darko for Denver. And a sneak up the outside. Brings Suffocation Risk score up to 16. We've got a Connecticut blocker headed to the penalty box. Four points on the board for Bronny Darko for Denver. First points of the jam for Denver. Risk moving through for four more points. A 20-point jam so far, and she's not even done. I'm tired thinking about it. Four more points for a risk. And final call off for Connecticut. So unofficial score right now is 305 for the Connecticut All-Stars to Denver's 116. We got to wait for that final whistle to make it official. 
When we hear the swoopy whistle, wow, I am, I am ready to go to bed. Let's I'm ready. A whistle. <laughs> I, I am ready to have my little Z quill and Ooh, a little honk shoe right tonight. Yep. <laughs> I am done. I, I have tapped out. So day. with that swoopy whistle, <laughs> we are done. Uh, strong first outing for Connecticut All Stars. Denver standby, putting up a big fight. 305 to 116 will wrap up the second game of Have a Nice Day. We will be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for Connecticut versus North Star Roller Derby, a re